This is a tutorial on how to retexture uh, models in Oblivion. Um, what you're going to need for this are a few programs uh, to begin with uh, the TES construction set, the D, uh, DDS converter 2, and the texture replacer um, to the DDS converter and the texture replacer are links in the description where to download them. What you first want to do is select a weapon you would like to retexture. So let's say a fine steel longsword. So it's called weapons steel longsword fine. We're just gonna search that model weapons steel long sword fine. We're going to copy that, go to the file location of Oblivion, <coughs> create a new folder and paste it over here. So it's called long sword fine at the moment, so we're not going to change that. Um, you can change it, of course, if you want. Uh, we see here the uh, location of the texture. So we're just going to search that one. Uh, textures weapons teal longsword .dds. Um So textures weapons. And you might notice that there are two steel long swords the DDS and you want to uh, copy them both because one is normal and one is, uh, one is with an N behind it and you want to copy them both um, and then we're gonna go again to uh, the file location of Oblivion Textures, weapons, and create a new folder again and paste those. Uh, then you want to copy. Oh no, that's not even needed. Uh, you're gonna you want to go to DDS Converter, go and search. Uh, those DDS files um, this is the folder and you want to have the input format is DDS and the output format is GPEG and we only want to uh, convert the one without the N the one with the N is only the depth of the sword and we're not going to change that in this tutorial. So, say steel lungs with the DDS, hit this button over here, and then you can hit convert. Then it's created a GPEG file. And then we're going to open it with Adobe Photoshop. And then we say, then we see this. And it's it looks really weird, but this is the texture. I'm not, and I'm gonna change the blade. So I'm just gonna highlight that and change the color. So I've made it darkish purple. Just gonna do a few stripes on it to mark it. So you can see that too, and you can get pretty creative with this. Uh, then just hit save and put it back again um, then we're gonna convert it back to a DDS file, it will just uh, write over the old one so we say input format is gpeg and output format is DDS select steel longsword.gpeg 
hit this button and say convert and it's now been converted back into DDS now we're gonna take the model we want to retexture open it in texture replacer I've got it as a uh, basic program for texture replacer if you don't have that you're gonna to want to copy this location and open the texture replacer and it's all and it's already in the good uh, one over here yeah we're just gonna do that uh, want to minimize that minimize this one and copy a bit of this one and we only want to uh, let uh, this file location match this one so this matches and we're just going to hit enter and it's done um, so now we, we can make a, a nice sword out of it I'm going to hit new and just so many more numbers so it's unique um, let's take this one as an example I'm not going to do an icon right now I'm uh, just going to select the mesh so that will be a, a bad right um, then we're going to search that one and there we have our texture with the little stripes on it and the dark purple and that is how to retexture a model in oblivion thanks for watching